Junction 2 new lineup as well has been announced i'm super happy i can't wait to go i'm sure most of you guys are fed up or bored of my you know ruminations of uh flipping um junction two but this is news that just that happened i think just a couple of days ago they announced the lineup and add some more people on the lineup effectively for junction two which i think in my opinion i think is the best electronic music festival in london hands down i don't think anyone else can come close to it um i've been to a few i've been to even some others in europe and i think for in terms of production in terms of quality of sound in terms of the crowd that comes out there the bar uh, the token system like the food that's on so that's available stellar stellar production from top to bottom i think everyone you've seen so far if you checked out the vlogs check out my review of of, of the, um, the festival this year too you'll see for the most part everyone's only got glowing things to say about it if anything the only thing that's a bit of a damn trodden about it is the over um zealous uh, security staff but for the most part everything else is flipping perfect so this is news from resident advisors so junction two um Adds Mashio Plex and Dixon to 2020 list. Again, I see Mashio Plex, I see, I see Dixon, I buy instantly. Um, London's Junction 2 Festival has revealed the second wave of acts. Among those added to June weekend are Mashio Plex, Nina Kravitz, Dixon, Mashio Plex, uh, Joe Orbison, I said twice, sorry, Masil Dietman, Okta Okta, and Fatima Yamaha. La, la, la. What an absolute banging lineup. Um, Okta Okta, you'll know. Oh, Okta Okta, sorry, you know, plays an amazing house set. I think she's got a recent one similar. Who was it out with? Was it somebody? Was it Sprinkle? I forgot who it was. Maybe Sprinkle, somebody. They've got a really good back-to-back -back one that came out on Boiler Room just recently. Let me see if I can actually get it up on here. Okta Okta played an amazing set on Boiler Room recently, like a back-to-back -back set that was absolutely banging. I think I played that in the gym a couple of times and I was just, you know, skanking at the flipping deadlift platform. Uh, let me see if I can get it on here. Okta... Octa Octa Boiler Room. Oh, it was with um Eris. It was with um, what's her name? Eris Drew. There we go. Yeah, that's the one. So this set at Sugar Mountain, I recommend you check it out. And I'll play a little bit of it now. But this this set was absolutely smasher. Sugar Mountain 2019 at Boiler Room set. Uh, Octa Octa and Eris Drew. Really recommend you check it out. Good good housey vibes. This is gonna go down really well. At Flippin' Junction 2 Festival. People are gonna absolutely love it. I'm pretty sure they're gonna absolutely love it. That's some um, Eris Drew playing Oct Oh no, is that Eris Drew? No, it's Oct Oct sorry. Eris Drew is the other one with the jean shorts. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, I recommend you check it out. Really cool, really cool um video. But going back to the news, um they they join uh, six stages worth uh, of previously announced house to techno artists, including Hassel Audio, Forte, and Amelie Lens. That Amelie Lens night is gonna be, or that stage is gonna be Rammo. If you wanna see what an actual what a dj superstar looks like nowadays i recommend you check that out she's had a massive year um you know really blown up on the scene been touring all over the place her and Charlotte the way i've had them an absolutely nutty schedule if you check their ra so i'm sure that appearance on the junction 2 festival stage is going to be an absolute tear up so i recommend you check that one out and obviously master plex dixon you know the absolute kings are playing those kind of stages um the london warehouse events run event takes place at boston manor which is again for me the perfect place to have that kind of outdoor festival i'm not sure because of the location that it is i'm not sure it's because of the lwe relationship with the local council but honestly it's the best sound of any london festival it's actually loud you can actually hear a set playing from far away before other festivals that you go to you have to stand exactly at the front i think even all points east recently all points east festival had a real problem with the sound if you watch some videos of people standing way far back in a, in a crowd they can hardly hear anything they're asking for the sound to be popped up a bit but local councils obviously put a limiter on the sound that they can achieve on the night so for the lwe to achieve that level of sound at boston manor is incredible might have to do with the fact that it's underneath a motorway so it doesn't really disturb anyone but there's still houses around there if you walk from the station to boston manor park you know that you know it's the it's quite a residential area but they do a really good job of ferrying everybody from the station all the way to the venue no hanging around as soon as the, the, the thing is over get the fuck out of here absolutely love it um there's a short video here with a little lineup review showing it on the screen it kind of runs through some of it let's quickly check that one out and see this friday 5th of june more acts to be announced which is great always got some more people popping up surprise guests of course jobs for the appearance of doctor tasha tasca zenka brothers and nostalgia christensen which i'm a big fan of i saw her at mixed garage first time she'll be amazing there what's the man in london park in london recommend you check it out honestly for me easily the, the best money you'll spend in festival season in london one of my favorite uh, nights to go to or festivals to go to in london hands down one of the best out there definitely can check it out and some stellar names added to a list already of an absolutely wicked festival